Welcome, everybody. Good afternoon uh, to this coffee lecture. Uh, my name is uh, Fabian. And today, in the next couple of minutes, I would like to convince you that it is an advantage for a research group to have a research data management strategy in place. And I will first show you some benefits of having a research data management strategy at hand in a research group or beyond. And then we will also uh, introduce some core or let's say key components of a strategy. So what is a research data management strategy? Uh, so basically it's agreements about research data management practices. You stipulate among uh, members of, of a certain unit, let's, let's call it certain or organizational unit. So the lowest unit would, for instance, be uh, a research group. And there you will define and try to streamline handling of research data and related activities. Um, a strategy as such should be considered as a supporting resource, a central pillar, let's say, that one can draw on information if you're not sure how to handle your research data. And it, at the end, should also further and sustain concert, concerted research data management practices among its members. And we will also see why this is good or an advantage. You have to see that a strategy documents the data management practices at a level which is beyond the individual research project. So it has to coordinate all data management practices that happen uh, in a group. So let's consider the lowest um, research, uh, the lowest uh, level organizational units, the research group. And of course, you can also um, go at higher levels. So you can uh, establish a research data management strategy uh, for an institute, or I would say the highest level would be entire institution. No, maybe you can also go to the national level, of course. But you have to be aware that the more stakeholders are involved, the more complex it will be. And also, if you go on, for instance, departmental level, you have to consider or you need to cover much more different research fields. So it's also a compromise between how tangible your research strategy will be and also, yeah, maybe it's, 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 it's more general then. So this has to be figured out. And we also recommend that maybe one should start with uh, the uh, individual group level. And then maybe uh, if you want to establish one for an institute, you try to aggregate the different strategies of the individual groups. This is even better than starting uh, from scratch to establish one for, for a whole institute. So now, what are the benefits of such a strategy? Um, I think it became clear, I hope, already that it really streamlines handling of research data within the group. So everybody knows what to do, ideally, and can refer to, to things that are described in the strategy. Actually, I actually forgot to say that these agreements that you have stipulated, of course, they should be documented somewhere. And it's better to go document it, for instance, on, on a wiki than in a physical document, since they might also be adapted once in a while. We come to this point later on. Uh, of course, if you have streamlined handling of research data management, uh, research data, this will also simplify handover of data, for instance, to your group leader. And not only for your group leader, so maybe also for other colleagues, it will be much more efficient uh, to, to hand over uh, data and maybe start uh, uh, also even a project with people outside the group 
may be facilitated. So, for instance, think about that you have a research data management strategy and the other group has also one, even though they are not the same, maybe they don't have the same structure, maybe they use other have other agreements, even then it's easier because you have you have a structure, right? And so that makes it also more efficient. And I think also that will uh, increase the success of research conducted in group or also uh, in the, within the scope of a collaboration, for instance. And it's also a primer for new group members. So you have a resource, it's on a wiki, for instance, and uh, people that joined the group recently, they, they can draw on this resource and just maybe answer the first basic questions when they start. And then this can also serve as a basis for discussion. So maybe new group members, they, they know what the practices they have agreed in a former group. And so with this, you can really start discussions and also try to improve your research data strategy. And never, uh, last but not least, um, you can also extract information for a data management plan. And um, a plan, um, a data management plan actually reflects the strategy on the level of an individual research project. So people can take information from there and slightly modify it and they have the data management plan at hand. Of course, it also takes time to establish a strategy, even especially if there are more stakeholders involved and this needs to be considered. It also needs adaptations. We think this will happen occasionally. Uh, so for instance, when the group moves in towards new research uh, fields, and also keep in mind that you have to consider uh, Swiss law and regulations stipulated from institutions and funding agencies when you uh, establish your strategy. So what are key components of your strategy? Um, here we just, uh, uh, one of the major components, I think, I actually, I think it's the core component is uh, a list or a collection of the data types and also associated metadata to these data types that you will, will arise in your group. I think that's the core and from this you can uh, make a lot, a lot of other agreements about your data handling. And here you just see a table, it's e exemplary. Uh, and this is from an excerpt from our template, which you can also um, see on our wiki page. And I think due to time, I cannot go into this too much. So we just here have research data types. And for instance, here, I think it's also quite important then to define the metadata you will collect to the types. So everybody knows in the group, okay, if I collect interview data, I need these metadata uh, to be attached to my uh, primary data. Then another component, which we think, or I think is key, is having a file name convention in the lab. Uh, or the research group. So here you see, for instance, so we have again the research data type and you see here the different components in the file name. And then you also have a, a column or a variable describing these components. So what is it actually, also in which format it will be written. This will just be specified here. And it's also nice to have an example file name. So this is just illustrative. And so people can imagine what, so what will be uh, the product of this. And of course, we leave it up to you what you will include here. This is, it's everything is here uh, voluntary. This is also an excerpt from our template. Of course, there are other components. So I mentioned file folder organization you can also define responsibilities on research data management. Maybe there will be some general ones everybody has to do. 
general tasks, but there might also be some specific ones. And so you will assign responsibilities to these ones and also uh, define which data you will classify uh, on the different, for instance, confidentially levels we have now at ETH and how will data access be regulated and so on. And yeah, with this, I'm at the end of the coffee lecture and I hope that I can encourage you to start drafting your strategy. And when you're doing so, um, we have a lot of support on our wiki. So we have the instructions for drafting the strategy you will find here on our wiki. And we also have a template. Of course, all of this is ex explain exemplary, sorry. And um, uh, we have um, a lot of information there. We also started seminars now about the implementation and issues uh, of, of establishing such a strategy. And we offer uh, also individual consultation for research groups. Thank you very much for your attention. And here's the announcement of the next coffee lecture about plagiarism uh, software. And now I'm happy to take your questions.